Hi, this is Susan from Susan B. Cards. Today I'm going to show you how I made a card by applying lunar paste to black cardstock and then die cutting and embossing it. I'm applying lunar paste with a flat foam blender to regular 110 pound black cardstock. The colors I'm using here are silver lining and shady, a new darker gray. I'll let this paper dry and die cut it later. I take another piece of black cardstock and using a palette knife, I scoop some of the lunar paste onto the paper. The colors I'm using here are silver lining, shady, weeping willow, which is a stark brown, and refined copper. I pull the colors across the paper using a craft scraper. After I'm done with this, I let the paper thoroughly dry. You wanna be sure the paper's dry before embossing it. I use a Spellbinders Geo Quilt for this one. It's from the Simon Hurley Snow Globes collection. I'm going to die cut this paper using Ulta News Craft of Flower Sulfur Cosmos. The back of the package shows how to layer all the die cut pieces. I really like how Ulta News dies cut a small keyhole out of the center so that you can easily line up the pieces when layering. I'm applying a little bit of slippery when wet lunar paste onto the center of the flower. I die cut my pieces for the first flower. There's two flowers included in this set and that A2 panel that I covered with lunar paste was only big enough to make one flower from so I needed to go back and make another panel for the second flower that I ended up using. You can see how easy it is to line up the keyholes so that you have the proper placement of each layer and using the back of the package you know which order they go in. I'm going to speed up the rest of the footage for putting together this one flower, but I did want you to see it from start to finish. There's only two pieces without keyholes. One is a, just a little bit of a shadow that goes on one of the petals, this one. And the last one is the center of the flower that I uh, put the gold lunar paste on. That covers up the keyhole in the middle of the flower. And that makes it complete. The lunar paste didn't completely cover the very edges of the paper. So I decided to cut it down about an eighth of an inch on each side. And that will leave the paper four inches by five and a quarter. And I use a black card and I'll mount it and there'll be a small border around the edge. I think it's easier to attach the panel to the card before I put all the die cuts onto it. And here I use two kinds of adhesive because the back of the panel is so textured. I just want to be sure it stays put. I'm shaping the petals to give the flower a little more dimension. I'm not going to mail this card. I'm just going to hand it to the recipient so it'll stay popped up. I'm gluing the flower onto the background and because it's so textured, I just want to be sure it thoroughly dries before I move it. I put a small bottle on top of it just to help keep it in place. I made a second flower and attached it to the card. All the products I use are listed in the description under the video. If you like this video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.